Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today we'll address how to prepare for your busy season. This video will apply to anyone that works in the property management industry, regardless of the asset type or demographic type. Another video that will apply well to this video is three products that every property manager should have. I will post that video link in the video description. The first best practice to keep in mind to prepare for your busy season, identify PTO, office close dates, limited hours, etc. As you prepare for the busy season, you're really going to want to make sure you've identified every staff member's PTO, dates that your office will be closed or limited hours, and any other events that will be helpful to be aware of as you prepare and schedule things for your busy season. As you determine your schedule, you're going to want to make sure you inform your staff, your vendors, and your residents of these limited hours maybe your office has or closed dates, as well as inform your staff of any staff that is going to be out on PTO. Another couple videos that will help with this topic and this action are my office close and PTO video as well as my email blast video. I will also post those two links in the video description. The second item to keep in mind when preparing for your busy season, make sure your supplies are stocked up. Ensure that all of your office supplies are stocked up, maintenance supplies, leasing office supplies, marketing and move-in gifts supplies. Make sure those are all audited and ordered before your busy season to ensure that you have enough to last throughout your busy season and not put you in a position where you have to stop what you're doing at the busiest time of year to make some of these orders. If you're enjoying this video and learning something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And the last thing to keep in mind to prepare for your busy season is get caught up. Ensure for anything that can be done prior to your busy season is complete. You don't want to be having to perform things that could have been easily done prior. Some of these items could apply to some areas like unit inspections, turning vacant units, rentable item inspections, lease audits, employee reviews, etc. These are all things that usually can be avoided during your busy season by performing them after or scheduling them before your busy season. Now, if it's unavoidable where you have to perform some of these things during your busy season, knowing what those days are and what they look like, getting those notices out early, informing your staff early will only be that much more beneficial and make it for a smoother process during your busy season if that is a situation that can't be avoided. And a pro tip for you today, make sure that all vendor information such as insurance, tax information, etc., that may be required or due during the busy season is, is collected earlier than the busy season. For example, if you have a painting vendor that their insurance expires at the end of July and you know you're going to be utilizing that vendor throughout your busy season, make sure you're contacting them before that busy time and letting them know that you really need that insurance information early or at least make sure that they're aware that they have to turn it in before that expiration date to ensure that you use their services during that busy time. This will be really helpful to get this out of the way, give them a reminder so it's not a situation where there's going to be a problem with any type of payment. If you've not already done so, please watch my disclosure video as well as my why I do this video. And if you found this video helpful and learned something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. If you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to address them before you. Happy leasing.